Texas Tech, Oklahoma State, uh, the Cowboys, Oklahoma State, nine and a half point home favorites, 66 and a half the uh, total uh, in this game. What a great win for Mike Gundy's team uh, on the road against a very good Baylor team. Baylor team that beat them in the Big 12 championship game last year and Oklahoma State beats them 36-25 last week. What a, a offensive explosion in the second half in that game. Both offenses got it going. Spencer Sanders, I'm telling you what, he has played some really good football. This is finally the year where, hey, Spencer Sanders has finally come to play, uh, you know, and he's played very well at the quarterback spot, running the football, throwing the football. Uh, they've got Brennan Presley leading a pretty good uh, receiving core. Very dynamic, very explosive Oklahoma State offense. Uh, we'll see how they uh, play here in this game uh, against Texas Tech, coming off a nine-point loss against uh, Kansas State last week. You know, it's worth noting, you know, on the road, which is now going to be a second straight road game here for Tech, 0-2 ATS, lost by 13 at NC State, lost by nine at Kansas State. That being said, you know, I still think Joey McGuire was a nice hire for this team. I, I the, the thing that I, I'm looking at right away is the over here. I mean, I don't really love either side. Uh, I think I'd lean Raiders, Red Raiders plus nine and a half because I prefer Oklahoma State, you know, pick them underdog more than laying these big points. Gundy's a good dog, not as good of a favorite, but that total, that total can only go up 66 and a half right now, that total. It's actually already gone up from 64. Oklahoma State is playing at a serious tempo. Serious pace. They've got the pace going again. We know Texas Tech, Zach Kitley comes from Western Kentucky. The new OC this year, they're playing lightning fast as well. Pace, 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 pace. Both offenses, I think you see this game go over the total. What do you think, C-Mac? Yeah, I mean, Oklahoma State just been able to score there and did a great job against Baylor. I like Texas Tech a little bit, you know. I know a lot of spots, like you mentioned, it's nine and a half. I'd rather have over that 10. Uh, but I think they can hang a little bit. I think this line might be just a little bit too much. They have to take care of the ball better, Texas Tech. I, you know, they just had too many turnovers against K-State in the last few games. So if they do that, I think they're in this one. So I lean to the points. Lots of pace. And by the way, Oklahoma State's defense, which lost a lot from last year, including a great defensive coordinator. Well, this year, they've been okay, actually, against the run, but they've been miserable in the secondary against the pass. 122 in the pass defense, 122nd, 285 passing yards per game allowed. And that's all Texas Tech does. It's an air raid offense now because Kitley's there. That's what he ran with Bailey Zappi at Western Kentucky last year. They throw the ball 90% of the time, Texas Tech. So they could really take advantage of that suspect yeah. Oklahoma State secondary. That's why the over, and I think Oklahoma State will score at home on Texas Tech. So yeah. shootout time, I think, in Stillwater here uh, on Saturday. 